Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cute little storage chest for your ink blending foams so that they're all organized and you'll always be able to find them. It's made out of paper matchboxes and it's the perfect size for these so I thought what a great idea. To start these are the materials that you'll need. You'll need your ink pads, a heated tool, these little paper boxes with the sliding drawer. I got these from Oriental Trading. You're going to need your Ranger ink blending tool and ink blending replacement foams, um, a foam brush, mini mister filled with water, some glossy accents, a bone folder, paper trimmer, and some heavy white cardstock um, cut two by four and a quarter and then two by twelve. And then the last thing you're going to need is your labels for your drawers over here. And you can find these on Ranger's website and there's a link on my blog where to find them. Okay, to begin we're going to start by gluing our boxes together. And to do that, I'm going to use some glossy accents and my foam brush. And I like to make my little storage chests in groups of 12, because that's how most of the inks come. And then this way you have all the same color families together. So I'm going to be using my Distress inks, and I'm going to start out with the first set of colors that were made to put in my storage chest. So what you do is you start out, you put your boxes in rows of four and then you're going to glue them together. I'm going to put the glue on the top on the box like so and then I'm going to spread it out evenly to cover the whole top of the box with the brush. And then you're going to glue them together and then you can press them on the table to make sure they're even. And then you just have to um, let the glue set. It takes about 20 seconds. And you can move the drawers out and press it down like so. And then you're going to continue until you glue the whole row together. Okay, once you have your three columns glued together, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue them side to side. And to do that, you just put your glossy accents on the side. And then brush it evenly. Stick it together. Okay, so once the box is dry, now we're going to finish it up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your label and you're going to stick it onto one of the drawers. like so. Find the same ink color that you just put on there and then get some ink on your blending foam and then you're going to color the drawer. And you're going to do it on the front and on the back of the drawer. So, and then when you're finished, you can stick your little piece of foam back in the drawer, put your drawer in, and then continue with the rest of the colors until you're finished. Okay, once you're done inking over the drawers, it's going to look like this. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just make a covering to go around the storage chest just to finish it off. And we're going to learn how to do Tim Holtz wrinkle-free distress technique to do that. So what you're going to need 
is a 2 by 12 piece of cardstock. You can use um, a heavy white cardstock, or if you want, you can use watercolor paper. Um, and then you're going to need a 2 by 4 and a quarter piece. And then pick two colors of the Distress Ink. You can, um, to do this technique, you can pick probably as many as three or four colors, but you don't want to get it too muddy. So I'm starting with just going to pick two colors. I'm going to use weathered wood and peeled paint. And what you do is you just put your ink pad into the craft sheet. And you're going to alternate the colors. And you're going to make it as long as your strip. So I'm starting with the peeled paint. And you're going to try to put the colors close together, but not on top of each other. Then you take your weathered wood. And you go next to it. And now the next thing you're going to do is take your mini mister filled with water and you're going to spritz the ink and using pretty much water until you see bubbles form at the top. And you're going to lay the paper into the ink and you're just going to press down on it. And you're going to lift it up. And you're going to heat set this right here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go back and get the spot you missed and you're just going to add some more interest to it. So what you just do is take the paper and kind of like just flick it into the ink that's left over. And then heat set it again. And then you still have to do your other piece. And there's still a lot of ink left on here. If you didn't have any more ink, you can redo it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt it again. And I'm just going to go ahead and like so. Okay, so then you let it dry, and once it's dry, you're going to stamp on it. And I'm using Autumn Leaves Clear Stamps. I'm going to use this cute little birdie stamp and a black archival pad. And I'm just going to stamp in the middle to start. And I'm just going to make him walk around a little bit. And if you wanted to, you can like stamp some little accents in there, but I'm just going to leave it simple like that. And now we're ready to wrap this around our little storage chest. And to do that, we want to place this in the center. You can kind of just eyeball it. And then turn it over. You're going to take a bone folder and make a little crease where you want to fold it over. And go ahead and fold it over so that it fits nice and tight. And then you can do that on both sides. And then you're going to glue it down with your glossy accents and a brush. Okay, so once you have that glued around the top and the bottom, it looks like this. You let it dry. And now we're just going to finish it off by edging it with some ribbon. So you cut some ribbon that will fit around all four sides. And again, you're going to use your glossy accents to glue it on. 
And I'm going to put um, a dot of glossy accents all around the edge of the box. And then glue the ribbon on top of that. And there you have it. This is what it looks like when it's done. It's a cute little storage chest. And all your ink blending foams are organized forever. And I think I'm going to go make them for all my ink pads. So I hope you'll try it too. And remember, a crafty day keeps the stress away. See you next time.